Ostad Bismillah Khan, the 21st of March 1916 to the 21st of August 2006, born as Kamaruddin Khan, often referred to by the title Ostad, was an Indian musician credited with popularizing the shanay, a subcontinental wind instrument of the oboe class. While the shanay had long held importance as a folk instrument played primarily schooled in traditional ceremonies, Khan is credited with elevating its status and bringing it to the concert stage. He was awarded India's highest civilian honour, the Bharat Ratna, in 2001, becoming the third classical musician after M. S. Subbulakshmi and Ravi Shankar to be accorded this distinction. On his 102nd birthday, Google honoured Bismillah Khan with a Google Doodle. Early life Khan was born on 20 March 1916 into a family of traditional Muslim musicians in Burung Raut Ki Gali, Dumrayan, in what is now the eastern Indian state of Bihar, as the second son of Pygambar Bash Khan and Mithun. His father was a court musician employed in the court of Maharaja Keshav Prasad Singh of Dumrayan estate in Bihar. His grandfather Ostad Salar Hussain Khan and grandfather Rasul Bash Khan were also musicians in the Dumrayan Palace. He was named Kamruddin at birth, to rhyme with his elder brother's name Shamsuddin. Upon seeing the newborn, his grandfather Rasul Bash Khan, also a Shanae player, is said to have exclaimed, Bismillah, or, In the name of Allah. And thereafter, he came to be known by this name. At the age of six, he moved to Varanasi in the state of Uttar Pradesh to be apprenticed to his maternal uncle Ali Bash Vilayatu Khan, a Shanae player attached to the Kashi Visvanath Temple. In 1932, at the age of 16, he entered into an arranged marriage with a cousin. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Religious beliefs. Khan was a pious Muslim, and was also a symbol of communal harmony. Career Khan was perhaps single-handedly responsible for making the Shanae a famous classical instrument. He brought the Shanae to the center stage of Indian music with his concert in the Calcutta, known as Kolkata in All India Music Conference in the year 1937. He was credited with having the almost monopoly over the instrument as he and the Shanae are almost synonyms. Khan is one of the finest musicians in Indian classical music. He played the Shanae to audiences across the world. He was known to be so devoted to his art form that he referred to Shanae as his Begum wife in Urdu after his wife died. On his death, as an honor, his Shanae was buried with him. He was known for his vision of spreading peace and love through music. Performances at Red Fort Khan had the rare honour of performing at Delhi's Red Fort on the eve of India's independence in 1947. He also performed Raga Kafi from the Red Fort on the eve of India's first Republic Day ceremony, on 26 January 1950. His recital had become a cultural part of India's Independence Day celebrations, telecast on Doordarshan every year on 15 August. After the Prime Minister's speech from Lal Kila the Red Fort in Old Delhi, Durdarshan would broadcast a live performance by the Shanae Maestro. This tradition dated from the days of Jawaharlal Nehru. <laughs> Popular culture Khan had a brief association with movies. He played the Shanae for superstar Rajkumar's role of Apana in the Kannada movie Sanadi Apana which became a blockbuster. He acted in Jalsagar, a movie by Satyajit Ray and provided sound of Shanae in Gunj Yuthi Shanae Noted director Gautam Goes directed Sanj Meel Se Malakat, a documentary about the life of Khan. In the 1967 film The Graduate, there is a poster advertising, "'Bismillah Khan and the Seven Musicians' on a street of Berkeley, California. He as a five-year-old, played Gili Danda near a pond in the ancient estate of Dumrayan in Bihar. He would regularly go to the nearby Biharji temple to sing the Bhojpuri Chaita, at the end of which he would earn a big ladu weighing 1.25 kg, a prize given by the local Maharaja. Students <inaudible> 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 
Khan attributed his skill to the blessings of Lord Viswanath, and believed that there was little that he could teach his disciples. Khan seldom accepted students. He thought that if he would be able to share his knowledge it wouldn't be useful as it would only give his students a little knowledge. Some of his followers include S. Balesh, as well as Khan's own sons, Nazim Hussain and Nayar Hussain. Personal life On 17 August 2006, Bismillah Khan's health deteriorated and he was admitted to the Heritage Hospital, Varanasi for treatment. Ostad's last wish, to perform at India Gate, could not be fulfilled. He wanted to pay tributes to the martyrs. He waited in vain till his last rites he died after four days on 21 August 2006 because of a cardiac arrest. He is survived by five daughters, three sons and a large number of grandchildren and great-grandchildren, and his adopted daughter Soma Ghosh a Hindustani Shastriya Sangeet exponent, the Government of India declared a day of national mourning on his death. His body along with a Shanae was buried at Fatiman burial ground of Old Varanasi under a neem tree with a 21-gun salute from the Indian Army. Legacy. Sangeet Natak Akademi, New Delhi, instituted the Ostad Bismillah Khan Yuva Paraskar in 2007, in his honor. It is given to young artists in the field of music, theater, and dance. Bismillah Khan was commemorated on his 102nd birth anniversary by search engine Google, which showed a special doodle on its Indian homepage for him on the 21st of March 2018. The government of Bihar has proposed setting up of a museum, a town hall cum library, and installation of a life-size statue at his birthplace in Dumrayan. In the film Eric Clapton, Life in Twelve Bars. Clapton cites Bismillah Khan as an influence and how he tried to use his guitar to imitate the music of Khan's woodwind instrument. <laughs> <laughs> Awards and recognitions Awards <laughs> 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 Fellow of Sangeet Natak Akademi 1994 Tahar Mausik from Republic of Iran 1992 Padma Vibhushan 1980 Padma Bhushan 1968 Padma Shri 1961 Sangeet Natak Akademi Award 1956 Tansen Award by GOVT of Madhya Pradesh Three medals in All India Music Conference, Calcutta, 1937. Topic: Recognitions. Bismillah Khan had honorary doctorates from Banaras Hindu University, Varanasi, Visva Bharati University, Santaniketan. Others include was invited by the then Prime Minister of India Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru to play Shanae on the first Independence Day in Delhi's Red Fort. Participated in World Exposition in Montreal Participated in Cannes Art Festival Participated in Osaka Trade Fair His 80th birthday was celebrated by World Music Institute in New York India Post issued commemorative postage stamps of 5 rupees denomination on the 21st of August 2008. Topic: <inaudible> Discography. <inaudible> Album Sanadi Apana played Shane for Rajkumar's role in the movie. Gunj Yuthi Shane 1959 Shane recitals throughout the movie for Rajendra Kumar's role. Maestro's Choice, February 1994. Magmalar, Volume 4. The other piece in the album is by Kishori Munker, September 1994. Live at the Queen Elizabeth Hall, September 2000. Live in London, Volume 2, September 2000. Contributing Artist: The Rough Guide to the Music of India and Pakistan, 1996. World Music Network. Topic biographies: Bismillah Khan, The Shane Maestro, by Niraja Potter. Rupa and Co. 2018. ISBN 
Monograph on Shanae Maestro Bismillah Khan, by Amar Jyoti, Shivnath Jha, Alec Jain, Anjali Sinha. Pub. Nina Jha and Shivnath Jha, 2019. ISBN 9788175256408. Bismillah Khan and Banaras, The Seat of Shanae, by Rita Ganguly. CD Books, 1555. Shanai Vadik Ostad Bismillah Khan, by Murli Manohar Srivastava. Prabhat Precaution, 2009. ISBN 9788173157356. Bismillah Khan, The Maestro from Benares, by Juhi Sinha. Nayoga Books, 2011. ISBN 978-81-89738-91-4. Nabatkane Mine Abadit, by Yatendra Mishra. Chapter in NCERT's Hindi textbook for 10th Standard. <laughs>